So welcome back to SharePoint Framework for Beginners. In this episode, I'm going to have a look at refactoring our web parts from the templated versions that Yeoman gives us into React components, React functional components. And here's the reason why. By doing this, it allows us to use the hooks API, things like use effect, use state. It, it reads for more modern, cleaner code, in my opinion. There's less boilerplate code, as you'll see when you look through it. Therefore, I find it easier to read and test. I believe the performance is better, and I believe it's also future-proofing. So join me as we refactor our web parts. If you haven't done already, please click the subscribe button. Uh, let's dive straight in. Okay, so now we're going to refactor our web parts into functional components. So let's take the first one, and this is in welcome.tsx. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to comment it out. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create our welcome web part as a functional component. So I'm going to do const welcome equals and then I'm going to pass in the properties, which are of type I welcome props. And then we simply do an arrow function there. And then we need to export it. So I need to do export default welcome. OK. And then what we need to do is put in the main parts of our web part. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what we've done here, which is get all of these variables. So the way we do that is I'm going to uncomment all of that. And props is no longer belonging to this. So what we need to do is we simply need to get all of these out of our properties. OK. Next, we have to get our time variables and we need to put those in there. And I'm going to uncomment those. OK, so we've got now and we've got hour. And then we're just going to simply do our calculation, if you remember. And we're going to put that in here. And then finally, we're going to return our HTML. Let me uncomment that. And there we are. I'm going to format that document and we now have welcome is returning as a functional component and what this means moving forwards is we'll be able to do uh, things like use effect and, and and all that in there which will be a lot better really okay so now i'm going to do the same with the faq web part so i'm going to comment all of that out and then i'm going to do const faq equals FAQ props, then right arrow, then I'm going to do export default FAQ. So notice this is just the TSX files we're changing here. And then similar to the hello web part, we've got some variables to extract there. Uncomment those, and I'm just going to point those to props. Okay. And then we're going to uh, return all of this. OK, so I'm going to copy all of this return statement. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to uncomment it and remove the extra bracket. I copied in there and now that should give us the functional component version of our FAQ web part. So if I look at the web browser, and I do a refresh on everything, you'll see everything is still working just as we want. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode on refactoring our web parts. Join me next time where we're going to read from a list. Finally, I'll see you next time.